Last year we, have, we had our conference uh, exactly one week uh, after the new government uh, uh, was uh, appointed and heard uh, a rough uh, outline of its uh, reform plans. It sounded very positive, uh, but uh, many of us uh, were uh, quite uh, suspicious uh, about the implementation. And today I can say that uh, we have been uh, positively surprised and so have been the markets. Firstly, uh, we uh, have appreciated uh, the conservative uh, fiscal policy of the new government. Uh, the budget deficit has been cut uh, from almost 9% in 2009 to 3.5% expected this year and 2.5% uh, we expect for next year. Uh, public debt to GDP has been uh, stabilized at uh, 40%, uh, which uh, is an envy of uh, many European countries. At the same time, the government has launched uh, an aggressive uh, tax reform, uh, cutting the corporate profit tax to 16% over the next uh, four years. Uh, secondly, uh, we have seen departure from populism and uh, substantial increases in uh, retail tariffs. These increases were long overdue and we appreciate the government uh, uh, is uh, keen to, uh, to, uh, to do them. Inflation has come down from 12% in 2009 to 7% uh, currently, uh, which also compares quite well uh, with, uh, with the region. Growth has been reinitiated uh, at over 4% last year, and it's expected uh, to hit 45 to 5% this year. Industrial growth, uh, retail sales, and wages uh, are all growing now at uh, double digits. We expect the currency to be stable uh, in, the, in the foreseeable future. The foreign exchange reserves uh, have hit uh, $37 billion, which is uh, only $1 billion below the pre-crisis peak. Uh, the banking sector has been uh, stabilized. Uh, the assets have been flat last year, uh, but uh, we expect them to uh, grow at a respectable 15% uh, this year. As regards capital markets, uh, our business, uh, we have uh, seen a very market-friendly new Securities and Exchange Commission that is open to dialogue and uh, introduction of new products. Uh, and most, of, most important of all, uh, we see positive reaction from both the SEC and the National Bank uh, uh, to uh, introduce uh, dual listings of uh, Ukraine asset-based companies that were originally uh, registered uh, abroad and uh, listed uh, on the London or Warsaw Stock Exchange. I would uh, be ready to enter into a bet that uh, the volumes on the Ukraine Stock Exchange uh, will exceed uh, the levels uh, of London and, and Warsaw Stock Exchange in these stocks uh, already by the end of uh, this year. Uh, what uh, we also welcome is the pension reform. We expect that by the summer uh, the reform will be um, launched. Uh, that will be the first pillar. And then in the fall we expect uh, uh, a legislative launch of the second pillar, uh, modeled uh, to a large extent uh, on the Polish model. On international relations, a few words uh, we see uh, progress on the EU front and we expect by the summer signing of the free trade agreement and the accession agreement with the EU, uh, which should be perceived uh, quite positively. At uh, Dragon Capital, uh, we have uh, also seen our business grow over the last two years. Uh, we got licensed in the EU, became members of the Warsaw Stock Exchange as the first company uh, from, from Ukraine. Uh, to conclude, uh, uh, you know that uh, there will be the Euro 2012 uh, finals in Ukraine next year. And in case you are wondering how to get tickets, uh, the recipe is to invest in Ukraine and do it through Dragon, and uh, we'll take care of uh, good seats for you.